Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Fawad Lakes walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at little different uh, series I would say because I am going to uh, make more of tutorials about this. So today we are going to look at how we can install ESXi. I am sure the people who are already aware of virtualization environment they are aware of ESXi. So what I am going to do today is I am going to install ESXi server um, in a virtual environment like on my VMware workstation and uh, then maybe later on we would be looking at how we can configure ESXi, how we can uh, access, how we can create machines, how we can work with ESXi server. So let's get started with this new series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new virtual machine over here and I'll keep it as custom. I would say I would install operating system later. Uh, I'm going to choose VMware ESXi, although I'm going to install 6.5, but because my VMware workstation is a little old, I don't have that option available. So I'm going to choose VMware ESXi 5. I'm going to say next. I'll name it as uh, 6.5. And I'm going to browse it to the location where I would like to save it. Next. I'm, to, I'm going to give it four processors into two cores. It would make it eight core or probably I would say four into four. Uh, maybe like this would be better. Two processor with four, uh, two processor with four cores each. And I'm going to choose maybe eight GB of physical RAM and I'll say next. I'll keep it in that for now, but it's a different topic. We are not going to touch uh, this topic today, so I'll, I'm going to keep it in that. And then I'll keep everything as default except single because I pr prefer to keep it sing single for my test environment. I'm going to give it uh, maybe like 120 GB of hard drive because we would be creating VM machines on top of it. So of course we would need uh, more of this space. Um, and I'm going to say finish. Now I'm going to browse it to uh, the ISO file of ESXi. So I have browsed it to my location where my ESXi ISO image file is available. And I'm going to close this and finish. Now let's start this ESXi server installation over here. We'll keep going with the default option. I'm going to put it in full screen. It's better. So it would take some time to get this thing installed. I'm going to pause my video recording. So now if you look over here, my installation of ESXi is complete. I'm going to say um, I would like to continue over here. I'll accept end user license agreement.
I will keep it as default US default and I'm going to put the password over here I'm going to choose my password say install so now it is installing ESXi 6.5.0 on my machine I'm going to pause this recording over here probably it would take some time or if it has a quick installation let's wait for it it would get complete in some time Okay, now my system needs reboot. Of course, the virtual system, not the physical. And I'm going to remove the I hope I'm not late. Alright, so if you look over here, it has booted up and it has automatically taken the um, IP address from DHCP which is in my NAT interface range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this and I'll make it as static so it should not change. So if you go up over here and go configure management network network adapter IPv4 configuration and I would say use static and I'll keep the same and press enter and then I'm just going to say escape and I'll say yes and then escape to log out now i have this ip address which i can use to access this esxi server so let's do that i'm going to open my 
browser window and if you see over here certificate and this thing is little different topic to discuss so I'm not going to touch that and if you see I am able to access my ESXi interface over here and now my ESXi server is up and running and now we can work with that and start creating VM machines. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.